So geocaching. Let me show you what I did. Um, I'll tell you why I think it sucks, but it's also really cool at the same time because it's a proof of concept. It shows that, okay, you can actually do this kind of thing um, in a way that makes the phone ring. You can do this kind of thing like in uh, situations where the platform wasn't even designed to be able to do that, if that makes sense. And let's see, I got to move my windows around here. And I was thinking primarily, um, so No Man's Sky has a huge community over on Reddit. It's called uh, No Man's Sky the Game. There is another subreddit that has a lot of people on it, very active community called uh, No Man's High, which is where you get stoned and fly around in space. And that's the whole point of the game for you. Equally good community with a lot of pretty pictures. And I recommend both of them because <laughs> um, you see some cool stuff. The whole thing about No Man's Sky is it's a game of discovery. Um, aside from the computer, the like AI players, uh, the human players go around and discover stuff that nobody else has ever seen before. And it's procedurally created. And even the developers don't know what's there and stuff like that. Right. That's kind of the reason it's cool to look at what people discover. Now, what I ended up going with was not what we did last week. I was like, oh, well, if you can uh, name stuff when you discover them, which you can, that means I can put all kinds of data in there, right? When you name stuff, it gets uploaded to the server. And let me add this. Here I am in my spaceship. When you name stuff, it gets uploaded to the server and it's cross-platform, meaning anybody that's on PC or Nintendo Switch or Xbox or um, what's the other one? PlayStation, all share the same procedural universe. So I showed this already, but basically like there's a bunch of stuff, right? Infinite universe kind of thing. All these stars are their own system uh, and stuff. So here's what I did. As I went around, instead of leaving a message box, I, I realized, okay, a seed phrase is 12 words. Okay. And so if a seed phrase is 12 words and anybody with those 12 words in the correct order can unlock a wallet, that means um, you can hide those words anywhere. And as long as somebody discover them in the correct order, uh, it works out. So I was like, oh, all right, cool. without too much thought put into it, let me start naming the planets. This system has six planets. So right off the bat, that's six of the 12 words that you need, right? So this planet that I'm pointing at, I named fifth protect. Can uh -huh. you guess what that means? That's the fifth word. That's the fifth word. There that's you go. Ding, cool. ding, ding, ding. This planet is named 11th add right pretty straightforward so if i go into my discoveries here and i look at this system you'll see that i have every odd numbered word named in the planet because there's six planets or five planets in one moon and, did, and then did you put the other word actually on the planet i did that's yeah. cool yeah. so you have to go land on the planet to find the next word so the the even numbered I'm telling you the key right now because nobody's figured it out yet or tried. Um, but let's say I'm, let's go to the first one. Well, what, what, what is this one? This one is the first one, first renew. All right. So let's go to the first one. Oh, and the other part is uh, like the hardest part is figuring out what thing on the planet is the next word, right? Because there's, I mean, let's, No Man's Sky is badass, but the planets are so big. Yeah, there's Finding usually like that's cool enough to have a word near is tough. Yeah, there's usually like a dozen different animals that are procedurally generated, you know, that nobody's ever seen until you land and see what it looks like. And then um, maybe like 20 or so different plants and shit. How many bases are you allowed to have? Many as you want. Could we drop the next word as a base for somebody to find? Yeah. Because it would be like an actual icon at that point. Yep. That's in fact, better. I'll show you the one that I dropped here in just a minute. Oh, is that totally exactly what you did? Yep. Hell yeah. um, well, no. So I, not not for the word. I'll just okay. show you what that looks like. So here's you know a planet that has some weird plants and stuff. Um, and I won't I won't give away. Should I give away the second word and then that gives somebody 
like who wants to go in and execute. Yeah. Oh yeah. They, like they this is a good example. Yeah, yeah, they're still gonna do this like forty-seven more times. Yeah. So I'll give away just the second word, and it's the same for every planet. So it's pretty easy. Now, if I come in here and I land, land here's a good spot. Oh, no Man's Sky looks a lot better these days than I remember it. Looking... It looks way better these days. They have continued to pump out update over after update for free for a long time. You want to play No Man's Sky later? Yeah. Cool. So uh, there's you got a scanner and you can scan stuff, right? So if you look around, you'll see see it on the left side of my screen. There's unidentified plant with question marks, right? And then there's all of them have unidentified plants with question marks because I have not scanned anything. I haven't discovered anything except for the type of thing that has the word in it. That's so the clever. only thing that's been discovered on this planet, like not even that animal has been discovered, you know, not that rock, that kind of thing. I'm going to get away from this guy who's trying to kill me in a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Did you piss off the Sentinels already just by being here? Yeah, it's one. So also, I put it in a system that's hostile. Hell so yeah. Just to make it interesting. So it's more fun. So if you hop around enough, go away. You <laughs> He's like, hello. Oh. Yeah, this is what like you a, doing on my rock. Yeah. So I'm going to scan the area and I'm just going to go over to the one that I know is named. So if you go and look at stuff, eventually you'll find one that I already discovered. It'll say discovered by distant and it'll be named already. And it is these little yellow sodium plants. Right, this one's named cherry, and that's the second word. Right, oh, so okay. any of these little yellow sodium plants that you scan, it'll say it was discovered by distant in the top left. Right, if anybody else comes in, they'll say it was say discovered by distant, and the name of it is the next word after whatever the name of the planet is. That you see, I, I think you're overthinking that not already being really well thought out because that's pretty cool. <laughs> Yes, Hyperion Frequency, this is for PC, uh, Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch, and all of those platforms share the same universe. Hey, that's right, they're all cross-platform. Yeah, so you can play with somebody from PC and Switch in the same world. Um, the only thing is you got to know what mode they are in, because there's creative mode, normal mode, survival mode, and the one that I want to really hide awesome prizes in is the one called Permadeath. Oh. And permadeath is where if you die in the game, oh, I triggered the sentinels. Let me get the fuck out of here. Hold on. If you if you die in the game in permadeath, it actually erases your game save, game save file. Your game save. Yeah, your game save. So I'm just gonna run away for ten more seconds, and they'll lose track of me. Right. So permadeath. Oh, there's a little crab thing. That's cool. Uh, permadeath is uh, the one I want to hit. Anything valuable and really interesting. I want to hide in permadeath just to make it challenging. And hopefully we can uh, hide some stuff related to Den, of course. Let me just... Good lord, they are relentless. Here. Why, did, why did I do it here? This was your <laughs> idea entirely. All right, I'm just going to run away a little bit more and just get my ship. It's because you're a slimy little geck boy. That's why. So I've put matter in for now. But you could also hide like Bitcoin or Monero or anything that has a crypto wallet with a private key. Look at this right? guy. Yeah, he's cool, right? He's like he's a little beetle. Like neat. Yeah, you can like take them as pets too. Wait, really? Yeah, like I've got a couple of pets. It irritates like me that I showed you this game when it came out and then or told you that it was coming out and now you like, know there's everything. This guy. What there's is this... that? I found him and I made him my pet. Look at that. Yeah, no what the fuck? Tell that thing to stop dancing. That's weird. Yeah, that's yeah. terrifying. That is some Breath of the Wild shit there. And I can uh, I can ride him around. <laughs> okay. You can drive him around. Are you, you know? in him? Well, it's it's clipping through, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can do all that stuff. Anyway, so that's the key. That's how you find it. Oh, Yo, it, are they like it. are they like fucking Pokemon? Like are you just you really you, stuck on this planet now? Yeah, no, I'm good. Do you just yeah. digitize them and like how how do the pets work? Like you digitize them into a fucking wallet, and yeah. then you and then you just pop them out whenever you want. Well, no, this whole game was built before like crypto was a popular thing. So nothing in here is supposed to have crypto in it. And I so don't nothing, say anything nothing, about nothing, crypto. Well, nothing is, that, is in a wallet and nothing's in a, oh, you mean like like an actual, you're just conceptually saying that. I thought you meant wallet like as Yeah, a, no. Uh, you yeah, you like used a, the wrong word. Sorry. 
<laughs> you keep them in like a fucking Pokedex or something? Like You mean like the or, inhumane treatment? Yeah, where know? the fuck are they where do they go? <laughs> I always wonder with Pokemon, like, do master balls are they better inside than like your regular Pokeball? Like, do you think? I I, I wonder what's in a Pokeball. Like, do they have like a little room or are they just in a stasis? Pokemon. Uh, I don't know anything about Pokemon. This, I this think there's a problem uh, with me answering that question. So, so actually, what it is is uh, they get transported to Professor Oak's farm. Oh yeah, sure they do. They go to Professor so, Oak's happy farm. No, no, like that's uh, and he does research on him. That's why, like, he gives at least for Ash. Like that's why he gives him. Like um oh. oh the Dex thing yeah the Pokedex and stuff because he's sense. like go catalog all, everything you see for me oh that makes sense uh, and then there's episodes where like they go back and like they go back and like he visits his Pokemon like on oh. the farm when he visits um, you know I've never actually seen any of those I've seen a bunch of the original Pokemon but I've never seen any of that huh interesting. So then the last thing I'll do here, and then you guys can give me some ideas to make the next one, is I want to just go in and um, show you where the actual, like if somebody didn't know what the solution was, I'll show you how they start, basically. Come on, click. Pull this down. And good morning, I am for I am. We were just talking about um, space. Space. And your grandbaby. And your grandbaby. Yeah, we were talking about that. You got a little babeski. <laughs> little little bambino, a little biscuit. A little a little bundle of love. A little damn, I can't think of anything better. <laughs> and you guys seen um <laughs> a little hot potato. A little hot potato. Little hot potato. <laughs> why are you why are you one of these little things, by the way? Oh, I'm a geck, dude. <laughs> I know. Like why? Because <laughs> he's a cute short dude, and whenever he sits on stuff, his feet dangle. Every Watch. single time. Wait, really? Oh, wait, I can't sit in that's that. Just, yeah, just anyway, when that. he sits on stuff, I promise his feet dangle. <laughs> I, I, that's amazing, actually. You guys uh, are familiar with the film and TV series Stargate, I presume? Yeah. Of course. So there's these synthetic portals here that are everywhere. But there's also, here's where I put the entry point of this uh, puzzle. Uh, there's also... Um, old ancient portals that are literally stargates. I'm surprised they haven't got a copyright strike because of that or something. That, um, wait, really? Yeah, so I built a base around one just for myself. So I, I know where one is and I'm gonna go there now. I really need to just come find you because <laughs> you are far <laughs> advanced. Oh, I've been playing this since day one, which was I, 2016. Yeah, I, I had so, it yeah. out when it came out and then I got very angry. Oh, it was boring. And when it first came out, it was not what it was. It was nowhere near what it was like. In fact, that same subreddit I was talking about, No Man's Sky, the game, it was such a toxic shithole of a subreddit in oh, the beginning God, yeah. because everybody was just angry, right? But it has become the most loving, interesting, awesome place uh, because Hello Games and Sean Murray continued fixing shit until it was what they promised and more, but right? What is this shit? So I built a building around this portal. And it's mine. It's called Port Albert. Because Portal, Port Al. Yeah. Uh, like anyway. th how have they... Okay, I see what you mean by how have they not gotten a copyright strike. Yeah, so it gets better. It's just... The, did they do the Chevron thing? Uh, on my um, post in the gaming layer, I if you go look, there are glyphs. As are the... you kidding? <laughs> Yeah, so there's glyphs that you can put in that take you to a specific other portal in the galaxy. What? And so that's where I started the puzzle. So that was like, okay, here's where you, here's your starting point is the glyphs. So blah blah blah, the portal ship, blah blah blah. Let's activate it. Yada yada. All right, boom. Here's here's your portal. I, they're getting sued. There's no now, way. I'm that... gonna. <laughs> it's just been here for years. It's fine. There's um, a triforce in there. Yeah, I know. So I'm going to put in what I what I posted originally in the in the uh, in the gaming layer, which is this half moon eclipse thing, and then this spaceship thing. I don't know what they're actually named. Is that how you get like that? You tell people where the next starting point is. Yeah. By just it posting is. a glyph sequence. Yes, it is. Uh, could you post a couple of them slightly out of order? 
uh, you can do whatever you want. And this is part of what I need to figure out. You know what I mean? It's like, how do we, and we can talk about this either in the coffee layer or in the gaming layer, but this is part of what I want to figure out, you know, over the next week or so we can develop the next puzzle. Well, we're playing, right? we, uh, I'm jumping on some no man's sky now, cause this is wildly cool and we should yeah, explore and figure. You definitely out. should. And I can, um, if you want, I can, uh, piggyback your, you know how most games have like a, a, a beginning that's like a tutorial section. Yes. Yeah, so I can I can help you plow through that in the beginning if you want because it's yeah. honestly it's not that great. It just is there to teach you how to play the game. I think that's where I get done every time I play the damn game because I get yeah. in this base building tutorial and I'm like, can I just leave now? Can I just can I just not? <laughs> like, can I just go find a freaking Stargate? I right. love these games. And then Galaxy. All right, ba ba boom. There's my address. That's the address to the puzzle in the galaxy, which has. Thousands. Are you serious? It even does the thing. <laughs> Spits out exactly the same. Yeah. Oh my god! I didn't know I was going to have a review of No Man's Sky today on coffee, but I'm, I'm yes, digging it's this great. shit right now. So I'm just going to walk through it, like you do. And of course. And there's a Doctor <laughs> Who cutscene. Is that what this is? Yeah. yeah. And then we get like when he goes, so there's going to be a pyramid, and Dun. you know, it's just yeah. the first Stargate movie, the Eye of Ra, and all of that. <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing. <sighs> I haven't seen so it in a long time. This is going to spit me out. If you notice, bef like before this, I jumped to a different system. Okay, uh, so that's it's an upside down pyramid. What the fuck? Well, well that guy there. right there, that little sentinel dude there, is ready yeah. to ruin you. No, he's not. You know why? Because that's a base. Because I'm I hacked it. It's my friend now. Oh, it's my fr yeah. And this planet is monochrome. Like the light doesn't really reflect colors very well. It that's a thing. Yeah, so you can find planets that are monochrome i don't know if that's how light works but okay <laughs> it is in this game and there's a little bit of lore that you wouldn't that, be that able does, to see like items <laughs> that does uh explain that so this thing in front of me it took way too long and i stopped halfway through but it's actually going it was going to be the den logo oh my <laughs> god Dave! i was just like oh what should you see when you come out of the portal i don't know a den logo and then i, I gave know. up I don't know how to build in Den or in uh, in No Man's Sky, but I'm down to help with that <laughs> mega project. I need no. help, yeah, dude. Minecraft. If there's one thing that I was good at in Minecraft, it was building enormous things. Well, there you go. So that that brings me to my next point: is we have a Minecraft layer without a server, and so we could do a puzzle in there as well. So anyway, that's it. So you come in here, you don't know anything. You start looking around. Nothing's named. Nothing's discovered. Um, but if you start scanning, it does show you the name of the planet. In the left there, fifth protect. So you might start thinking about the puzzle at that point. But that's the whole puzzle. That's it. That's the end. You know, and there's some weird flying things. You never know what you're going to find. That's like a weird flying jellyfish. Right. So there is the end of the demo. Okay. And I will quit the game now. It's very cool. So we could do that in Minecraft for the Minecraft layer. I'm totally down with hosting like a Minecraft server, but we need more people that play it. The thing with Minecraft is like you're only on the server that you're on. You're not in a big shared universe where you can just say, hey, anybody who wants can can pop in, that kind of thing. Um, we could do. All right. So we got in the comments. Is there a way for players to leave a message on a board or something so others can see it if somebody... Uh, has been there yet, or if the tasks have been finished. Yes, there is a message pod that you can drop, and you can put a limited number of words in there. But yeah, there's totally like a little messaging system where you can drop, like, for example, at that portal, I could drop a message pod to where if anybody looks at it, it could just say, uh, done, been, gotten, go away, or something, you know, that kind of thing. I think it's, I was trying to think of a way to like mess with people. And I think you kind of have it. Like, I don't know how you could. I can't rename something you've already named. So, like, Correct. they, whatever they look for, they have to know to look for something that you named. That I named. Yeah. So, like, right. I can't go in there and be like, twinkle toes. And they go, yeah. oh, well, that's the fucking password. Yeah. You got to look at the one you could. But if somebody didn't think to, like, look for, and you don't even have to really know, um, who did it? Yeah. You would just have to say, okay, the same person that named the planets, look for that name, yeah. uh, you know, among the plants and animals and stuff like that. I did name, okay, so it's a sodium plant that you're looking for, for the words. 
I did name the system uh, Sodium Den, which if you're scanning system names and you see something called Sodium Den, you could just be like, haha, it's funny. It's a, it's like an opium den, but it's just people that have high uh, sodium. Uh, but it does, you know, it's something I wanted to leave some sort of like, in, like so maybe you can look at that name and think that there's something with the sodium plants. You know? I was going to say, it'd be like, nah, it's sodium. Or nah, it's den. <laughs> Nah, it's sodium. Nah, it's yeah. den, dude. That's the best thing to come back to. Yeah. No, I was saying I named the whole system Sodium Den, which could just be a name like <laughs> like, like like a den, like an opium den. It sounds, but, say, it sounds like a drug yeah, den. Yeah, but yeah. all, the, name, all the planets have a sodium plant, and that's the plant that was named. Yeah. That's the one thing that's the same across every planet. Because every planet has the same yellow, blue, red plants so well, yeah, you can't die you need those yeah two. yeah that so you can go scoop some up you can name them all differently but they're all the same shit so um yeah so base building is a different way to do it uh you can do um a lot of the things that you can do in minecraft you can do as well like you can build little uh logic switches and stuff oh. um you can there's a there's a thing called a byte beat box a byte beat box where you can program musical notes like in zelda you could have different musical like ocarina of time style puzzles where you could have like you could just make music some people actually make music and throw a virtual right, like, disco party we essentially have music blocks yeah but you could hide something for example in binary or morse code that way Oh, you know, so you could get creative on it. And now that's a, an interesting thought. Mm -hmm. Let's and say it, we had like we did a base. Sorry, I don't mean to keep cutting you off. No, we go for base, it. Right, and like say we do this a couple of times and it actually does well. Um, we find a location on a planet, build something interesting, like you know that I don't know. Just get, make up a story for it. It's got to have something cool, like a crash ship or something on the planet or whatever that you go find, and so yeah. they can go through it. Maybe kill a couple of turrets or something if that's an option. And then when they open a door, it'll play like a beat code. Yeah, or stuff like that. Could you leave? You can't really it? place enemies in traps. It isn't like um now you could do that in Fallout 76. Yeah. Which is another <laughs> game that is that's a game that works just fine. It's just not hugely popular. Works. But okay. It also has the benefit of a bunch of people actually technically own it. So they wouldn't have to go buy a copy to play it. Because a lot of people got excited and bought it, and then they were like, oh, this sucks, and they never played it again. See, I, I was I was smart. I didn't do that. <laughs> I bought a computer. Actually, I built the Gibson originally as a Fallout 76 gaming oh, rig. <laughs> I, I probably could have told you that wasn't the best plan. I had some fun with it initially, and it was it's fine, I've and it's actually it's a good. fine game. I haven't, I've never, I've, I have these thoughts on it, but I've never sat down and played. It, what it what it does have is an exorbitant amount of lore for the Fallout universe that is actually really interesting. So if you just want to go through and read shit, it's got a lot of interesting lore. So it's got no question notes. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, it's it's got it's got a lot of note question notes. In the Great. beginning, there were no NPCs. None. I remember that, and yeah. I was mind blown that that was even yeah. a concept. Everybody was dead, man. It was a yeah, but I mean, <laughs> well, okay. Let's say I wanted to make a game that was about nuclear war, and I wanted it to be really realistic. I would have you put the disc in, see the flash, and then the game turns off. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be fun, oh, though, right? <laughs> what's the fun? <laughs> yeah. So, I like the idea um, of building stuff and having stuff hidden, though. And no man, that's clever. When you had geocaching as an idea, I didn't think No Man's Sky was going to fly in, but. Like that's, it's a cool idea. The uh, ultimate goal would be to put something interesting enough to get people who wouldn't normally check out Den Social to go check out Den Social, right? So right now there's 256 matter and enough uh, ether in that wallet to where if you put all the seed phrases together and you um, uh, go like open a new MetaMask wallet and you recover from seed and you put that in, It'll actually recover a wallet that is um, that is that's got funds in it, and it has enough it has enough gas to send that matter to your to your personal account, right? Which is pretty handy. And it's out. Here's what I'll do. Last thing I'll do with with this is so here's that. That was the starting 
that was the starting thing. But actually, if you go to um, just Ethereum, and I put in matter, oops, which is our token, uh, you can find there should be one of these here. This would be the wallet. So I sent from to here 256 matter. So it's got 256 matter and it's got uh, however much. Oh, wait, that's not what I did. $39,000. Why did I hit the wrong button? I should never hit the wrong button. All right. From to transfer. Let's look at this transaction. It went, yeah, for 256 matter, which is about 10 bucks, right? So this should be the wallet. No. Why is it giving me that? With the contract from, anyway, there's another, there's, there's ether in there. Why is that? That's not right. That should not point there. Do 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 from to here. Yeah, two fifty six. Info. Sorry, now I'm now I'm confused. Send me the matter contract. I don't care. Point is, it's there. Point is, there's two hundred fifty six matter in the uh, wallet, and there's some ether, so you can send it. And the first person that does that clears the wallet, and you should never use that wallet ever again because it's publicly the seed phrase is public. But I could hide, like, you know, the Board Ape Yacht Club. They've got apes that are wildly popular and also highly valuable. Yeah, that's you know, So you could hide an NFT in there, for example, right? Um, if I went to OpenSea and just looked at stuff on here, I could get something. Um, let's see. Here is – um, here we go. These are interesting because they were procedurally sort of generated, I think. Uh, but they got really popular – and you can look at activity, and people are actually buying them for 15 Ether, and an Ether is, oh, wait, no. Average price, 1.4 Ether. So that's like $2,000. See, that, that's wild. For a squiggle. For a squiggle. A little squiggy squig, right? They took the Twitter check mark, and they made a squiggy squiggle with it. And that's it. And they were like, cool, give me money. Cool, two grand. <laughs> two, that'll be about two thousand dollars, please. Please do not hide one of these inside of yeah. that. So we could hide. We could hide that. We could hide uh, an interesting one. You know, this one jiggles, right? You see the monsters collection, right? Could hide a jiggly monster. Anyway, these, um, from a marketing perspective, these all have communities behind them, where they've got a Discord server where they talk about their jiggly monsters and whatever, and the squigglies and all that. And they can use them for like VIP access if they want to throw a party. All, they, they do stuff with them, um, which means if there's ever, like if we crowdsource it, for example, and we got people to go in on the community buying, like, okay, we want to bring in the, um, let's say Bored Apes, because that's the most like recognizable one right now. Let's say we want to get attention from the Bored Apes, uh, the Bored Ape Yacht Club uh, to Den Social. And we crowdfunded the purchase of an ape, right? Which is not very feasible because they're expensive. But let's say we did. We could then uh, go hide an ape in one of these puzzles, and we could make it to where you have to come to Din to uh, like reveal the answer to get to get credit or to get your prize, which would make people, you know, look at Din and that kind of thing. 